Hello and welcome to another yellow case tutorial. I'm going to show you how to adjust your sidebar preferences in your finder windows. Now, any folder or hard drive that you open will be opening a finder window. This, for example, is one. If I double click on this, this is another. All of these are finder windows. And you'll notice there's a little button on the top right hand corner that if you click on, it will hide your sidebar or click again and it'll reveal your sidebar. Now you can customize this a little bit to show those files and folders that are most important to you and you need to access more readily. Now I want to show you how to adjust the viewing preferences of your sidebar. You can do this by going to Finder Preferences and you'll notice that one of the options on the top here, there's four. The third is sidebar. I'm going to close that and show you a quicker way of doing it. You can simply right click or control click in your sidebar and this option shows up for open sidebar preferences and quickly that'll go straight to it. You'll notice that you can adjust all of the different things to hide or show on your sidebar. For example, if I deselect my iDisk, you'll notice my iDisk no longer shows in my finder window over here. So I'm going to toggle that on and off a couple times. You'll see it appear and disappear. So let's say, for example, that I don't like seeing my home folder in my sidebar. Now, my home folder, by default, is in my places. You'll notice there's a title places here as there is one in your sidebar of your finder window. So if I don't want to show that, I just deselect home folder and check it back to get it back. Now you'll notice when I checked it back, it appeared at the bottom. So I can just click and drag and take that to the top. So very easy to rearrange them if you need to. I'm going to close the sidebar. And you might be asking yourself, well, what if I'm working here and I want to add a new favorite place. Well, simply find the folder that you want to add, select it, and click and drag and place it in your sidebar. And then to easily get rid of it, just hold down your command key and drag it off and poof, let go, it'll disappear. So once again, you just select what you want to get rid of. For example, I'll get rid of my scans folder here. I'll hold down my command key, click and hold on top of my scans folder, drag it out, and let go of my mouse, and it goes away. Now, I say go away because it's not actually deleting them. If I want to go find my scan folder again, I just go look for it and click and drag it back. I want to point out that when you do add things, folders, or files to your sidebar, that you be careful how you place them, how you move them. For example, you see this uh, folder called Other, it has a little um, light bulb as its icon. When I click and drag it to the sidebar and let go, this is what I want to accomplish if I want to add it to the sidebar. I want it to stay there. And that would be a shortcut to that folder. So at any time I can click on this icon here and it will take me to the contents of this folder. So there's shortcuts. Now, I'm going to remove that by holding down the command key clicking and dragging it off and letting go. And the reason I'm going to do that, I want to show you what happens if I hover over a folder instead of putting it in between. If I hover over documents, notice what it does. It puts a circle over documents or applications. See, That means that it will not place it below it in the sidebar, but it would actually move that folder into documents if I did this. If I leave it there, it will automatically take the finder window to documents and if I let go that folder called other with the light bulb has now been moved to my documents folder see it there now so that would be a mistake it obviously has not been added to my sidebar but it has been moved to my documents folder so that might be what you want to accomplish but if you wanted it to appear in your sidebar without moving its location, then this was a mistake. I'm going to undo this. So the good thing, though, is that you can always undo this. Not a problem. Go to 
edit at the top of your screen, select undo move of, in this case, other in quotations. It puts it back where it was. So the good news is you have no reason to panic. Just undo that move, select other again, and place it in between two items in your sidebar and make sure that a horizontal bar with a circle on the left side of it appears, then you can let go. That will place that folder in the sidebar without moving it. Very important that you make sure that you place it in between two items. Well, check more, uh, check for more videos at yellowcase.com and on YouTube.